Therapeutic gardening is a great way to dissolve the day's stress. Generally, a therapeutic garden is designed to improve physical and mental health. Usually, such gardens include a wide variety of colors, textures, and aromas. These features boost your mood and stimulate your senses. Besides, such settings are good for horticultural therapy activities. Moreover, you may also come across a wide range of local wildlife. From colorful birds and small animals to butterflies and insects. These aspects bring a garden to life. Most people confuse between therapeutic gardening and healing gardens. The major difference is that therapeutic gardening is specially designed for treatment programs. Such gardens engage people in all kinds of activities involving plants. All the way from planting and growing, to maintaining them. So, how is therapeutic gardening good for your health? Gardening is a fun way to promote physical and mental health. Furthermore, it increases social interaction with the community. And this boosts your emotional well-being. Moreover, therapeutic gardening teaches us life skills and increases self-esteem. Studies show that participants reported increased confidence. As a result, it leads to a better quality of life. Therapeutic gardening is incomplete without a horticultural therapy program. Sometimes, a regular garden is enough for a therapy session. But a professionally designed garden unlocks the full potential of therapeutic gardening. In general, therapeutic gardening feature plant-dominated environments. And such environments increase interaction with nature's healing elements. No matter how short, the interaction with nature has dramatic results. Just looking at trees or walking through a garden is enough. It's truly a miracle of nature. Let's understand the therapeutic gardening design principles. Gardens designed for therapy need to meet certain standards. Moreover, garden planning should abide local regulations. That's why most gardens are designed by professional landscape architects. Besides regulations, a whole lot more goes into garden planning. One of the major challenges is selecting the right plants. With a variety of colors, textures, forms and aromas. Generally, it takes several months to design such gardens. While planning, it's crucial to meet requirements. Firstly, who will be using the garden? Is it for people with mental illnesses? Or, people with disabilities? For instance, a garden with raised beds is good for a disabled person in a wheelchair. Whereas, blind people will benefit from bells and wind chimes in the garden. On the other hand, autistic people need gardens that are well organized. Additionally, these gardens should have easy to use gardening tools. Another important consideration is the kind of activities in the garden. Whether it's for residents, visitors, or community members. There must be something for everyone. The most popular activities include gardening skills like composting, container gardening and plant propagation. Furthermore, gardens are used for education and trainings for aspiring gardeners. Hence, landscape designers take extra care to satisfy special needs before sowing a single seed. In a nutshell, therapeutic gardening has many health benefits like Improved physical health and fitness Boost your mental health Enhance decision-making ability and unleash your creativity. Reduces stress and tension. Improve mood and eliminate negative thoughts. Increased social interaction with community, friends, and family. Cures depression and anxiety. Increased confidence and self-esteem. Learn gardening and life skills. Better communication skills. Therapeutic gardening has a great potential to help people with disabilities. Moreover, it also helps people dealing with chronic illnesses. There are many ways to achieve these goals with therapeutic gardening. Some gardens feature nurseries and botany for rehabilitation. Whereas, facilities like nursing homes and hospitals often have therapeutic gardening programs. Research shows that therapeutic gardening reduces cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that's produced by the body in response to stress. Additionally, it also improves mood. There's no better way to connect with nature than therapeutic gardening. Besides, you can learn some amazing skills too. 
Gardens are designed for all kinds of people. No matter your age, therapeutic gardens are accessible to everyone. Involving community, friends, and family is even better. People can develop a passion for gardening that may last a lifetime. Caring for plants together improves teamwork, problem-solving and decision-making. Therapy programs teach us to control emotions and behaviors more effectively. And it promotes self-love. Whether you admire the results of someone else's work, or you put in the efforts yourself, therapeutic gardening has incredible healing powers for everyone. Being in the hands of nature induces positivity and eliminates negative emotions. Just viewing plants through a window reduces stress significantly. I hope this video has inspired you to start gardening. So grab your seed starter kit and get your hands dirty. Links in the description below. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below.